All right. Hello. If you're watching this, it's because you are in my English 10 class. Um, this is for week 13. It's going to be kind of a weird week. So on Monday, May 2nd and May Friday, May 6th, we will be in the library for the entire period because my room is being used for AP testing for the first half of the day on those two days. So please go straight to the library on Monday and Friday. Wednesday, we will be back in my room because I don't think they can do AP testing when we have a late start and the class periods are really short. So keep that in mind. Um, that's going to kind of limit what we do. And I honestly kind of just feel like we need a little bit more of a chill week just because we came off of grade day for the six weeks. And I'm sure you're probably losing some motivation for school right now because we are six weeks away from being done. So on Monday, we have a guest speaker, my mom, who is an interior designer. She's going to come in and speak and um, you'll get to hear from her, which will be fun. <coughs> um, for this week, your two goals are to finish the direct characterization and indirect for your Lit Circle book. Um, that's all. You should have done these two last week. And as you recall, hopefully from last week when I was explaining this, you do not need to submit these slides until the very end of this unit, which is roughly going to be the first week of June. Um, so in like four weeks. And then on Wednesday, um, we'll have some video announcements because we'll be back in my room. Um, We're going to do an activity called character interviews, and it's going to be an in-person activity. So if you're gone this day, just tell me and we can talk about that. But I won't necessarily explain it in the video because it's, again, an in-person, in-class activity um, that we're going to be doing where you kind of move around a little bit and you use paper and pencil instead of your computers. And then uh, this is Teacher Appreciation Week. So I did this last year. If you had me last year, you probably maybe remember doing this. Um, but we're going to do it again. So you are going to pick a teacher. It could be one you have right now. It could be one you had in the past. And I want you to write them a letter and just thank them and tell them what they did for you that was impactful, why they made a difference in your life, why you admire them, whatever it is. And then I'm going to give you a sticky note. And I want you to put that sticky note just on your paper somewhere with the teacher's name, the school that they taught at when you had them, and whatever grade you were in or whatever the grade they taught you. So um, obviously for a teacher that you have right now, it's not like a crazy big deal that you put that on your paper, but it will be if it's like, I'm going to pick my middle school teacher because um, it's going to be my job to track all these people down and email or not email, but mail out these letters. So if you could help me with figuring out where they go, that would be awesome. And then on Friday, honestly, it's going to be kind of like a mental health day. You use it if you use the time when we're up in the library to work on any work, if that'll help you. If you feel like you just kind of need a break or you just want to read, that's kind of the plan for Friday. Um, it'll be a lot easier next week when we get to be back in the room the whole time and we're not up in the library. So if you have any questions, um, please let me know. But that is it.